Hey everybody, so in this video I'm just going to do a quick overview of a few SQL queries that you can do on a table in your database. So these will be fairly simple ones. So to start with, uh, if I just go to my SQL tab at the top here, now uh, remember I'm working in PHP my admin, actually just to quickly update you, uh, I have this person table here, now I have one, two, three, four, five records in there. Uh, you can see they have a, a unique ID. Uh, they have a first name, last name, height, and a date of birth. All right. So um, if I was to run a query, the first query you would ever want to do, I imagine, would be to select everything from a table. Now to select everything, we say select. Uh, we use star for everything. Then we say where we're going to be getting it from, and that will be the name of the table, which in this case was person. So when I run this, this should bring back every column for every person in the rec in the table and it has which is lucky so you can see it's brought back everything now sometimes though you might want to filter that so you only get uh, particular items so say for example we only want to bring back the first name and the last name so I'm just going to modify that now a good way of modifying queries here you can go back to SQL but if you wanted to modify an existing query just over here you can click on inline and it brings up the query. So now instead of bringing back everything, which was the star, I can just type in the um, columns I want. So I'm going to want the first name, comma, last name from person. So this will just bring back the information in those columns. So if I run this now, hit go, there you go, you can see it only brings back those two columns and it doesn't bring back all the other extra stuff. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Let's just go back to the original table. So now, say I want to do the same thing, but this time I actually want to put that in alphabetical order um, by last name. So this time I'm going to run my query where I go first name, comma, last name, say where I'm getting it from, which was the person table, and then what I can do once I've got that information is something with it. So I'm going to say order by last name and that's the column by which we're ordering it. Now you can, um, that defaults to ascending, you can do it in descending order like so, and that will put it in reverse alphabetical order. Um, I'll show you the two differences. So if I do this, hit go, you can see there we go, Adams, Field, Smith, Wakefield, right. If I decide that I want to make that descending, I can just add D-E-S-C for descending at the end of my query, hit go, and now it's in reverse alphabetical order. Just like that, magic. So we have two types of queries there. We're getting everything from the table, or we are just choosing particular columns, uh, and we're also able to do something with those results. Okay, so that's where we're ordering it as so. Um, what else do I want to show you? Oh yes, maybe you only want to select a particular person. So maybe I only want to select people who have a last name of Smith. So I can go to my SQL here and say, all right, I want to select, oops, get it that right, select everything from person, so that's selecting everything there, but I can also say where last name equals Smith. And so this is like, a, I guess, a filter if you like. This is going to select everything about the, all records from the person table that match this criteria where the last name is equal to Smith. If we hit go, there was only one, it was Robert Smith. And it's brought back all the information. And again, we can combine this filter with the stuff we've just been doing. So say I only wanted to bring back the first name and last night, last name, instead of the star in there, I can replace that with first name, comma last name from person where last name is Smith. And so now it's just going to bring back those two columns for someone called Smith. And there it is, Robert Smith. Now, um, if I just inserted an extra record here, just to illustrate a point here, so we have Robert Smith, this will be John Smith, uh, with a height of 2.05 meters, and um, I don't know, we'll give him a date of birth and New Year's Day in the year 2000. Right, so when I browse this, you can see I have two Smiths in there. So now when I run my query, now I have to retype that, 
So I select first name, comma, last name from person where last name equals Smith. This should bring back both of those records. And there it is, Robert and John. Um, what else? If we said everything about those people, uh, we could also then order by, oops, sorry, phone's gone crazy there. Uh, we could also order by height. And there you go, it's brought back all the information and it's ordered by height. So that's just a few examples of some SQL queries, very simple SQL queries that you can do. Um, and I think it's a good start. I'll do another video soon about more complex ones, but for now that's a, um, a pretty good simple start.